welcome back to the channel and another new video and today i'm starting a new series on on teleport so this is an introduction video about like what is teleport how your organization can like use it what are the various features why would someone want to use it how it works like the architecture and stuff what all features it has to offer so you know the basic the the introduction to any tool how we move ahead with it and in this video we're starting with teleport so uh, you know we've done a bunch of videos around kubernetes around the use cases about like monitoring and uh, like management and all these other things and in this particular one uh, i wanted to talk a little bit more about when we're talking about like servers databases applications kubernetes clusters and things like that um so want to talk about an important uh, you know very popular and widely used sub uh, you know subject as well which is known as access management so like how you can access your infrastructure uh, be that like your servers or databases or your applications or your kubernetes clusters you know so you're working in a big team and you know there's like identity access management that many cloud providers have and you know uh, you, you set your own like uh, single sign on or something like that right so in this video we'll look at uh, you know a solution called like teleport why it's useful what other you know challenges it's trying to solve what is the mission and all these other things right so let's get started so as you can see it's an introduction to teleport teleport you know it's like the easiest and most secure way to access infrastructure what is it let's talk a little bit more about that so Teleport is basically a, a certificate authority. It's an open source tool, right? It's an access plane for your infrastructure. In simple terms, it you know it allows you to define access rules and stuff like that. Okay, this person can access this resource or that resource and so 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 many other things. This is what they can do around with it and all these other things, right? So the the idea is that you know it's it's designed to provide access to your infrastructure right without slowing down your work process or anything so with just one single tool i think it's just two binaries that you need to install so the engineers and the you know security professionals they can get unified access to linux and like windows servers as well teleport 9 is out it has some additional like features as well make sure you check that out and also you can get access to like kubernetes clusters applications databases and uh, you know other DevOps applications like CI/CD tools, uh, Git and like version control systems, monitoring dashboards and stuff across all the environments. So with Teleport, what you can do is you can set up single sign-on and you can have one place to access all of these things that I just mentioned. Okay, just sing just by one single place you can access all of these things, and you can also you know if you're working in a team you can also set up um, some of the uh, policies when it comes to uh, access uh, accessing infrastructure using your favorite uh, programming languages as well which definitely we'll talk more about in like future videos when we do a lot more hands-on part of individual use cases right and uh, one additional feature i'll obviously share about the features uh, you know uh, shortly but you can also share and record interactive sessions across all the environments right so this is an open source tool um, and uh, it was designed to provide you know uh, access and increase like productivity because it's not gonna let you know slow you down basically and i'm going to tell you right now why is it important let's see okay so the whole idea of teleport is around um software security you know if you will so right now as you know with with kubernetes uh in, in itself there has been a lot of uh complexity um you know when it comes to networking so like too many network boundaries uh too little trust and uh, complexities basically slow down engineers right and it can often lead to human errors as well so that's basically one of the idea when i'm talking about like you know this 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 particular domain being really complex teleport works with it and challenges it uh, by focusing on simplicity right so this basically uh, gives engineers like some freedom to you know explore and work on their stuff and you know Increase productivity um, without slowing down uh, when it comes to um, security and networking access management uh, for complex complex systems so if you have worked with complex systems you know how hard it can be and complex it can be um, when it comes to accessing the infrastructure right so as I mentioned teleport focuses around simplicity and you know like there's you know, easy to use um, software is basically essential for uh, first class security because if the software is easy to use it's going to reduce the human error right 
as more complex the you know software is uh, to use there are more chances you know for it to be prone to human error and teleport basically you know follows this particular principle of of simplicity and uh, yeah let's check out what are the some of the features it has to offer right so when we talk about the features you can find this link in the description below um so if we talk about features you can see that these are the enterprise features access requests so teleport allows users to request um privileges in the middle of like the command line sessions for example and uh, there are some like uh, you know common uh, standards that it follows as well for ssh and kubernetes access um navigating this website is like pretty amazing you can go to what is ssh and learn more about it right you can go to this session over here and see all these you know um, like learn more about it basically and uh, one more thing like other uh, additional things you can see over here enterprise single sign on is available so these are more of the enterprise features when we try to install uh, like teleport when we do get started you'll be seeing like a community version as well but when you talk about like the core features you can see that it offers um, certificate uh, for certificate authorization for uh, ssh and uh, kubernetes right so you can it, it helps in managing like static ssh keys right and as you can see our audit log so across like all all the events that occur uh, teleport basically keeps an audit log log for that uh, to you know multi like the uh, activity across your infrastructure session recording as i mentioned previously you can you know work with it and uh, uh, you know either in real time on play or playback it uh, later and also share it with your team so you can record the sessions right so many other you know features that you can see over here so obviously kubernetes access management is available here single sign on is available who shot out to ben uh, when we made a tweet that got viral um, this one it was pretty funny why is it called single sign on if you have to do it 43 times a day that's a good point and for that you can check out uh, you know this blog about uh, you know how uh, about more about you know what ben was trying to say about single sign on and what are some of the you know uh, good practices to follow so definitely check that out and obviously role based role based access control is something you know pretty pretty standard and uh, we've talked about this in the previous videos as well iot and edge connectivity is also available and we'll talk about machine to machine communication uh, for that there's machine id i think they um, landed this one in teleport 9 so you can check out that announcement as well there are a bunch of blogs around that you can see right so as this is basically about the features and uh, when we talk more about like the products part so you can check out that uh, you know server access available so you can use it for ssh servers in multiple environments kubernetes access uh, straight forward application access for uh, devops tools like ci cd tools and monitoring and all these other things database access is available over here for like sql and no sql databases gain in multiple environments and desktop access which is the thing i mentioned about uh, teleport 9 recently right um so these are basically like the the products they have to offer and we'll be doing individual uh, videos and deep dives on each and every single one of those i think just making one video should be like really long so in order to keep it concise uh, and easy to navigate in this particular playlist in this series of uh, you know uh, access management and uh, like using teleport i'll be um, making individual videos on this so the next one is going to be on server access after that kubernetes access and then there's uh, some things i'll be doing around like tbot and stuff so make sure you check that out cool okay so let's talk a little bit more about like how it works first of all as i mentioned previously it's uh, you know open source tool for 11000 stars that's a lot um so you can you know check it out start it you can check out the issues as well so around 1800 issues are like open so definitely you can check out and uh, like contribute to it as well it's an open source project and you can join their like uh, i believe a uh, slack channel yeah you can join the slack channel and give your feedback and stuff um as well so if you just go to teleport and you scroll down here you can see slack so you can see the slack channel and twitter as well so you can check out their twitter handle and they share a lot of uh, good resources right and not just teleport focused like in general uh, raising awareness in uh, you know when it comes to um, accessing uh, you know infrastructure and authentication so they have some amazing blogs that you can uh, check out right highly recommend that cool so how it works um the simple like when we talk about the architecture as you can see on the screen um highly recommend you go check out this particular url because this is uh, actually interactive right so here you can see a few things um so the, the this entire thing is known as the the cluster right so the teleport cluster it's it contains of the auth service proxy service and the nodes as well right so the ssh node and things like that when we talk about like the the auth service right so this uh, you know um this is the certificate authority of the cluster it basically issues the 
uh, certificates to the clients and uh, as you can see it uh, maintains the audit log as well right so this is working with certifications okay we talked about certificates like recently um so you know it should be pretty clear and um that uh, and basically like there are also resources available over here that you want to connect with such as like you can see uh databases and like uh, you know your uh, uh, web app and kubernetes cluster and nodes and all these other things right cool so that's the first part the the you know auth service for teleport the second one is the proxy service so this basically allows access to cluster resources from outside right so when we talk about this cluster for example it will allow access to these cluster resources from outside okay so this is the only service in the cluster that is visible to the outside world as you can see over here so this will be the only one that is available to the public if you will so as you can see all user connections uh, will go through this proxy and this will also serve the web ui okay so this is the proxy part and when we talk about the node so so the idea of node is um, you know pretty simple it's it's like as the uh, you know as they say uh, ssh on steroids if you will so the teleport node uh, service basically runs near your target resources and it will you know work with the protocols that you know it's uh, it's uh, like it's native protocols so for example if you're using like ssh so that protocol kubernetes cluster so kate's api for example um if you're using web apps so https um and for databases like um you know for postgresql or mysql accordingly right so the 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 role for the teleport node is basically that it routes the the request that the users will be sending um to the target resource from a proxy okay this you can see over here cool all right let's talk a little bit more about like uh like user management and stuff so as you can see over here that clients must authenticate with teleport and they will receive a receive a client certificate which will work for all the resources in a cluster right and uh, it also says that it maintains a database as you can see um one second yeah it offers a built-in database for user management as well cool but for uh, production use they recommend integrating it with enterprise ssos so you can see over here cool we'll talk more about that later on cool so even though you have your own like when we talk about audit audit logs as well when we'll be you know uh, working with it later on you can also add your your own like third party storage uh, for it as well and uh, we'll be definitely you know seeing a demo of that as well cool getting started um, for that make sure you like share and subscribe the next video will be on like server access pretty pretty straightforward going to be uh, learning about how to set up in service access, server access and uh, then about kubernetes and about some applications and databases lots and lots to cover in addition to that we also have done uh, a lot of uh, podcasts around uh, cloud native security for example we did one with saksham um, you can check that out in the open source cafe playlist on my channel you can find that um, there are a lot of blogs that i've shared and um, mentions uh, like some some great resources i've shared in like the discord channel so if you want to be up to that you can you know check out the link in the description below to join our community and uh, yeah just uh, as a next step um, I'll, I'll be sharing my videos on like uh, you know getting started with it and like installing it uh, because installation is like different for like when you talk about like for applications and uh, for like kubernetes and for server so i want to make like individual videos on it for displaying individual use cases i think that would be fair and uh, the documentation is already uh, already there obviously um so you can check out the documentation the link you can find in the description below and that's pretty much about it um let's uh, you know get ready do some uh, hands-on uh, command line you know and uh, <laughs> sessions and uh, you can find the previous videos in the devops uh, playlist and that's pretty much about it uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, really excited about this series uh, lots to learn lots of amazing podcast you know upcoming with teleport team so yeah Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.